Hello, everybody, and welcome to a brand new little mini-series on Inkbound, the turn-based tactics roguelike made by the developers of Monster Train that we checked out yesterday and I adored. Worth noting, the game is in a pre-alpha state, so it's very, very subject to change at this point. So keep that in mind as we move forward here. But it's really good already. Uh, but I am uh, the Moss Cloak now, which is a different class than yesterday. Ranked or unranked? I mean, I don't know that... <laughs> I don't know what we're talking about there. I guess I'll just go unranked. I wonder what the difference of that is going to be. I guess maybe it's just one has leaderboards and stuff. It's kind of cool uh, to think like you could squad up with a, uh, a crew and go in for that. But yeah, all right. Let's get a little bit of money. Hello there. I've been meaning to ask, how is everyone faring in the Athenium? Been near an age since I've been back there. The gatekeeper still got his beard in a knot over any false step. Rhetorical, of course. Given your particular physiology, I can imagine the ruin there well enough. I will again ask that you keep our meetings between us. Not that you've much say in it, but it's more your intention of the thing that matters. Okay. Uh, lose shield, run the quest to lose shield, deal magic damage or deal physical damage. I think we are much more likely to deal physical damage. Let's run that quest. So I don't know what we get when we defeat that. If we maybe just get like some kind of currency for unlocking stuff. Because there's a lot of like quests to get uh, different unlockable items that can theoretically show up in your runs. So much replayability in that front. Uh, so what are we going to do? We get a free item. Spawn a plant that grants one will to whoever picks it up. Every turn the plant is on the ground. It go it grows in potency, granting plus one additional will for up to four turns. That's kind of fun. This seems great for, like, running co-op. There's also cleave, 50 damage in a short range, inflict bleed, one stack of... Wait, gain one stack for each point of physical damage this unit takes. At the end of the turn... Deal one physical damage and remove all stacks. Wait, so it does 50 damage and then 50 damage again? Is it? Did, does this really just do 100 damage? I don't think that. The other one sounds super fun. Like, I love the existence of it, though. Silent Promenade, Garden's Edge. We have not been to the Proving Grounds. So let's give that a look. And then we'll kind of gather what this character does here today. Because we played the... Uh, the magma miner yesterday. But it really seems like you can go in a lot of wild directions, and it's really just the starting point. Okay, passive first. Gain a shuriken at the start of every turn or when an enemy dies. Shuriken, the number of shuriken. Unleash them with Moss Cloak's bindings. Okay. Uh, 35 damage to enemies. 35% extra critical damage. Gain a shuriken when you crit with this. Good. Dash at medium distance and inflict marked on the enemies. Marked guarantees a crit. Cool. Flurry, deal 30 damage, consume all of your shuriken to unleash them forward. Each one doing 30 damage. Very neat. And then, of course, cleave if we're looking to do AoE, if we if we don't have that already. Potion or money? Let's go potion. All right. Let's go potion. I, I meant to say let's go money. I picked the one I wanted. <laughs> it was a vocal misplay. Any more money hidden around? Doesn't seem like it. Let's get our first fight going. So yeah, logically, you would kind of think we'd want to... Can we hit all three of these? We can. I think we'd want to go like that, mark them all, and then... Oh, this has a really big range. So how much health do they have? 40? This does 35, but it guarantees crit. Okay, so I have 7 shuriken already. So this does 30 damage per shuriken. Okay, this is a pretty cool character. I'm not going to take the power orb. I'm just going to let myself stop right here. Dig it, dig it. I think we just run the same exact situation when they... Oh, I don't have the ability. 
power orbs give you an extra mana to work with as well though okay hold on there's a way to do this that blast them all free shurikens they i mean they just they were asking for it there it was such a good one. uh two physical power and two crit chance it's hard to deny that that's probably going to be the best for us crit chance being really really nice at the start of every turn liar's dice i love liar's dice uh start of every turn you have a 35 percent chance to gain five ability power till the end of the turn so we have a roughly one in three chance to gain 50 percent damage up for a turn oh that's tempting but this is 20 percent damage up forever on physical moves only, though, I guess. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. It just... It lines up with what we're looking to do so well. And I feel like on the first run of each of these characters, we're just going to be like... Let's, um... Just do the logical stuff here. Just just run the normal setup. It was... Is this like an epic? Is this a common... A, a rare and an epic? Is that it seems to be the case. Then I'll run the... I'll run the rare of physical power. If that's the case. Shh, move on. Rift in the story creates an opportunity to make a powerful choice. And this is a guaranteed passive. This is a big trade-off, which I feel like making those early in the run, which is like, it gives you a big boost to one stat and theoretically a downgrade to another, is what this is. Or it's just random. Reach into the pile... Lose 150 bucks and then question mark happens. Gain a random key, a random potion. I'll admit I've not had a key yet, so like, let's see what this is about. Opens any lock. That seems useful. Especially if there's some keys that only open certain locks. <laughs> that seems very useful. Let's go get some more money. We just spent a bunch. And I think these are our consumable slots. And one of them is filled up by a key already anyways. Can we run away and still get everything? Can we not? Wait, do we not get it if we're not? I don't know. Either way, this is a cool class so far. Give me more... Uh, we want as many tiny, tiny fools as possible. Okay. So four. I wanted to um, get into a spot where I could. Oh well. Get multiple. So we have to spend the energy on the movement there. It looks like. Okay, we got four shurikens. We have the ability to unleash hell once. You don't attack, do you? Doesn't look like it. Oh, come on. Don't tell me I can't get out of the ring. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to get out of the ring if I did that. Shoot. It's more important to not take the damage. Let's stay a little bit closer so we have more room behind us. So this is a loot goblin. Every 25% HP it loses, it will give us a little bit of money. If I get the power orb, I can get my dash back. Removes a stack every time a player uses a, a binding, which is a spell. Once all the stacks are removed, execute their attack. Okay. Oh, you wait, you're going to do it again? I can't get outside their radius. God, that guy is so annoying. Can't get outside the radius without spending an extra energy. Five times 45. Wait, do we have enough? I mean, well, we'd have to choose between these two at this point. I think maybe we uh, move out of the radius. We shouldn't be attacked by that. This guy's going away in one turn. 
Oh my god, dude. Okay. Please let me get out of the radius. Okay, good. We're good. We can. We can. Hold on. Does this... That can pierce? Oh my god. This character seems better than the other one. But, you know what? It's the good thing. It's the thing that feels like monster train in the way that everything feels a little broken. But it all feels a little broken. So, is any of it broken? Probably not. Pierce through. Mark and crit. Uh, I mean, we're safe if we just go for the mark and crit again. And I don't think we can make it down there to kill this guy. So let's get as close as possible without being actually in danger. All right, let me guess. You're doing that annoying thing? You are indeed... So how much does this do? I mean, it does a hell of a lot. That's for sure. Oh. I have to do math for it, though. Tell you what. Let's grab this. It should be a neutral. It is. Am I in the radius? Find a way to get out. And play it safe. And then now we unleash hell. We've got to be able to kill. If we, if we, if that didn't kill, I'd be upset. I do wish that there was like a little parentheses that just did the math for you on that. Crit damage up is going to be so good for our character. I would love crit damage up. Two will on the first turn. One burn damage. Whenever you take damage from an enemy, inflict two stacks of burn. At the magic power up, and at the start of every turn, you get an additional will. You know, I'll get the two will on the first turn of combat. We, we did run that last time, but, like, we haven't unlocked a whole lot of anything yet, so. Gain quillings and the opportunity to use keys. I'm very, very curious what we're going to be using keys on. Vault of Legend. Uh, straight up, like, actually legendaries. Oh my god. Chance to get a critical hit with any direct attack. I wonder if we've got one in here. Eh, yeah, that'd be fun. Uh, chance to get a critical hit with any direct attack. Yes, so crit chance up, crit damage up. Whenever you crit, do 75. I mean, 100% crit damage is huge. Heal 2 HP every turn and gain a physical power on heal is very, very fun. Wait, whenever you damage an enemy, there's a 50% chance to deal that amount of damage again? These are both... These are unbelievably massive. This is huge, though. This is just so much damage. Requires a plated key. So I guess the Jade one could do any. Uncommon augment. I'm doing it. I can't believe how strong that is. Okay. So they're not doing that... Okay, hold on. Without moving, I can activate this. That's huge. Oh my word. So you have phase, which means you dodge the next attack. I don't know that cleave has been necessary. When I took cleave, it's because I thought throw was not like a massive AoE pierce. You know? I feel like we might as well just try and stack up as many shurikens as we can because we don't need them gone yet. You know, we don't need to proc them. Got the orb without moving. What is your deal? You're just wild. You're just a strange guy. That's that's your whole deal. 
All right, I'll just pierce through, guarantee the crit. Also, guaranteeing the crit... Okay, hold on. 52? We might as well, right? Save the shurikens. We have a, a blast of 10 shurikens. Okay, hold on. A little bit of overkill, but... Every single one of those did 160 damage. Every shuriken did 160 damage. That was like thousands of damage, wasn't it? I guess I'll take crit chance, though. I think crit damage is more important than crit chance for us. Crit chance just means there's a, a higher opportunity for throw to just randomly crit for us. Bounding throw. Your attack will bounce onto a random nearby enemy. Critical flurry. Oh my god. Wait, you gain five physical power on your next attack. These are all so good. So our dash, we could dash and then gain 50% physical damage on our next hit. Amazing. Uh, critical flurry, our payoff move gets 50% more critical damage, making it just do even more, especially if we set it up with a hunter's dash. Bounding throw. Your attack bounces. Like, these are all so good. These are all so good. It's really tough to pick. This helps everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, we can Hunter Dash and then uh, do our payoff move. And it's... Is it the same or maybe even better than getting a 50% crit damage up? Free Binding upgrade and the capability to ascend another. I definitely want to do that. It costs like 400 to potentially ascend one, which is a like a big level up to it. Critical throw, 75 more critical damage. Okay, quick and flurry, reduce the cooldown. I don't hate that, but also I'm not entirely needing it. Let's make critical throw really good. So like we are more likely to get our stacks of shuriken to then get our payoff more reliably. Okay, so it's our dash, ascend a binding, deadly dance, dash a medium distance, inflict mark whenever you crit or kill an enemy. This cooldown is reduced to zero. Now that's big. Gain a shuriken for every enemy you pass through. These are both really good. This is a bigger payoff. This is a more, f this is, we can do it more frequently. We don't have to be, uh, it's not positionally relevant for us to have to pop twice. I think I'm going to go with the Deadly Dance. It's not positionally relevant that we are happen to be by an orb boss battle. We kind of hope they it's a summoning boss battle. A boss battle that summons a bunch of tiny adds. Because that's how we get really, really strong. Oh my god. Increasing in power every turn. Destroy the shield. The shield to remove it. Okay. There's no world in which we can line it up to hit both, unfortunately. Okay, go get the orb, and then maybe from here we can? We sure can. We sure, sure I can. Okay, how many? We got four. Okay, so we're going to mark you. And then we're going to use our payoff already. Because I just kind of felt like it was going to be a lot. A lot of critical damage. So we're just going to mark you again. The thing is, if the last thing I do is attack you and it doesn't kill. Then what happens? You're not even attacking it towards me. Are you? Why risk it, right? Like, the reason to risk it is because it'd be funny to kill him on turn one. But I think it's silly to uh, waste it there. Good God. Our crit damage is massive. Also, that ending of the, the battle sound effect is so loud. <laughs> Poison shot, 30 damage to enemies. 
inflict 10 stacks of poison. Whenever you crit, inflict 15 more stacks of poison and gain a shuriken. It's good, but... 52 damage, 10% crit chance, 100% more critical damage. Your attack bounces to a random nearby enemy up to three times and gain a shuriken on crit. Yes, please. Critical damage, fantastic. Even over the flat 10%, I will happily take that. Uh... Increase the dash range on our dash sounds really nice. I was trying to click it to, to see. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Gain three ability power in the next fight. We've waited so long for you. While you've been off saving the worlds, we've been making a list of things for you to do. Yes, it's all very exciting, but we really can't understate the importance of these tasks. Meet some, defeat others, just follow these tasks and you'll be on your way. A legendary? I mean, we don't get this right now. I think it just gets added to the what, pool. Though? We don't really know. If you truly are something to the ink, these should be of little effort to you, Needless. And perhaps some purpose may make itself known in the process. New quests available. Dailies? Ooh. Oh, this is so fun. Oh my god. I just, I love all those options. We get another finding if we want it. So what is shocked? When a shocked unit is hit... All wait. When a shocked unit is hit, all other shocked units take equal amounts of damage and then remove a stack. Hmm. So do all of the if all of the enemies get that shock, then we could do like a massive payout. It's tempting. But restoration is just like a really good... It's just, I just don't know if that actually works or not. The phrasing on it's a little bit... Does it inflict shock on a, on the single target or does that spread too? It says damage spreads to nearby enemies. It doesn't say that the shock spreads to nearby enemies. But I guess I don't see what the point would be of it otherwise. Mm, let's find out. All right. I'm sure we have a quest to go to one of these. I don't think I've been to the Vengewood. I went to the other tree place, but not the Vengewood. The Vengewood, I think, is a gloomier tree land. God, I love the colors. A putrid place of rotten decay. Even, like, even in the putrid place of rotten decay, the colors are so fun. Once a lush respite from the business of the Athenaeum... That since been reduced to waste. If any story should serve as a herald of things to come from the blight, this Vengewood is surely it. I don't know. Potions? Basically, I think that unless you feel like you're needing a little bit more help, you run money, right? Okay. When struck, its target will become ensnared, reducing their movement by five. What is my current movement? For reference, 25. Eh. Okay. So I've theoretically been marked by that. Oh my word. That is so strong now. So do I just flurry to 45? Oh, you got, okay, you have a lot now. And I can't get you marked up here. Unless I use a little bit more energy, maybe? So that would work. Oh, this is so goofy the way I'm doing it, though. 
trying to get the big payoff for this guy so that I can um, get all the money I want. All right. This should be way more than enough. I got to remember the critical damage is relevant. I'm not close enough to pick it up, I guess. Uh, wait, what the hell? It's an, it's, this is actually a legendary that I get? 15 health up, 15 max HP, and you take half as much damage? But that seems wild. You lived with one health? Can't do well in combat. Okay, that's fine. can't believe you lived with one. Okay. So how much does a crit do for me right now? Crit damage, 165% extra. If we're willing to go for it, we can, can really get up there and get the power orb and kind of ham it up. Oh, and you swap directions. Okay. So does everything swap directions? I, I was under the impression that it was only bosses, but I guess literally everything switches directions if it's, if it's shooting out a beam like this. Literally everything does. Okay, I mean that's good in that's good intel. But it's also unfortunate. <laughs> Cause that did not need to happen. Our health went down at the end of the fight as well. So ending the fight in goop counts as that that means you take damage. If you end the fight in goop, I feel like it shouldn't, right? None of it's a big deal like we're going to get over all that just fine. But I feel like if you're in goop at the end of the fight cuz it, it normally it seems like it makes you take damage on turn swap over. But if there is no turn afterwards, I feel like it should be fine, right? Hidden aspects. Speak with the gardener in Garden's Edge. I don't know. I'm just gonna, just gonna put that there. I've been, I, you know, I intend to upgrade my bindings. Let me go for the raw 10% physical power up. Whenever you're hit by an attack this turn, gain one will at the start of next turn. Uh, whenever this unit is hit by a binding, deal 10 magic damage. And remove half stacks. None of this stuff is particularly that relevant for me, except Sea uh, Trickle could be not bad. Okay, shielding up so you start every turn with two shield. But I, I really need to play in a way where I don't get hit at all. Like, I'm going to reroll. No. It's just not... None of it's relevant. Give me the three will at the start of the turn. I want to go for different stuff, but those are just good catch-alls. Like, even if I'm not utilizing the magic power, starting off my first turn by being able to stack up a million things is great. Just for variety's sake, we'll go here. Burn damage. I mean, we go for the... This is an epic. Yeah. Oh, totally. This is an epic. 30% damage up across the board. Are we missing something over here? Like, is there a clickable? Not much of a clickable for currency guy. But it is kind of fun. It, it, it makes a good sound effect. So I kind of, like, get over it. <laughs> if the... If the, like, sounds are there, it helps. Okay, so theoretically hitting you would be... Oh, really? Uh, 
There's nowhere I can hit all of... Oh, there it is. I knew there was an angle. Whoop. Should be pretty easy. You know, I am also realizing how a certain amount... Okay, we're going to leave right here. ...of energy on the first turn becomes irrelevant when you are so high damaging. When it loses half its life, it becomes more enraged. There's got to be an angle. It's disgusting. This build is disgusting. Whoop. Like, I don't even have to do my payout move. I have 10 shurikens. Uh, gain shield whenever you use a physical binding up to two times per turn. Um, it's not bad. Like, that I will always have to shield. That's basically what that is. I don't think I'm going to reroll for it. Manifest key. Plated key. Fifteen percent critical damage. Is it that? Is it fifteen percent? Is this a flat amount? Do I just do a flat extra 165? That doesn't sound right. But there's no percentages listed. It should it should probably say the percent. You know, like I know it, it takes away from how clean this looks, but it should probably say deal extra flat damage or deal 165% more damage. Just it, like putting a percentage or something as percentage symbol somewhere would make it a little bit more clear between those two. Uh, I'm going to take this one because it's it's a green. It's a, it's an uncommon. Why not? And 20% more physical damage across the board is great. I've not used cleave a single time. And let me tell you, I, I don't know if we're ever going to. I feel like we've set up such a gross build. Critical throw. You can double stack these? 75% more critical damage? This has got to be like... Okay, so yeah, we got two stacks of critical throw. Ascend a binding. Relentless barrage. 70 damage. Consume your shuriken. Unleash them forward. First does 70. And every one past that does an additional 10. Okay. So this is a big burst. Yeah, why not? Why not? Just basically we can look at that and be... Uh, see it like the way you're playing just get a ton more I'll take a vault I think a vault is stats just get a ton more damage on your payoff move that you have killed enemies too fast to use for a while now it's it really is that the monster train level of letting the player get unbelievably broken delayed attack so yeah these are the guys that are going to attack us uh, attack us, um, shoot, on a second go-around. So he didn't turn, he will turn. But will he turn before or after the ability? Do we do it for science? It should be after. Okay, we don't get... We don't get to know. <laughs> I've really... I've really ripped the game in half right now. And you know what? I love it. I love it for it. Is there a world? Is there a world? I don't think I can get all of them. It's fine. It'll bounce around and pretty much kill everything. Okay, so hold on. This uses the one. 
and then we could gain the other energy back. This is a bit poorly conceived, but I don't care. We definitely are fine if you don't dodge. Man. Yeah, we really gotta we gotta slow down on those. It's just because we we can do stupid damage doesn't mean we're gonna be doing it every single time. Do you have phase again? You do. That's the biggest thing that that hits us. So I'm just gonna pop you for a second. Dash through. Am I am I rooted or something? Am I rooted? I don't know. I think I might just be stuck. But I won't be for long. And that should bounce. Do what we need. We have another enemy showing up, apparently. Good. Yeah, we got a couple more. Do you have dodge on? You do not. We can walk up there and get a full uh, new dash through here. It's getting dangerously close to the end turn button there. Love that. Manifest a key. Choose a consumable to replace. Uh, can I, uh, close out of that? Yeah. I think my le next fight might be the boss anyways. Uh, two ability power, or one physical power. You always take the two ability power. It's just the same thing, but better, just in case we do take some kind of magical thing. At the start of every turn, reduce your movement binding cooldowns to zero. That's wild. God, I really just don't need to chain lightning. It's wild, but we don't need it. This is a movement cooldown, but we, we don't need that. Does this stack? Let's find out if it stacks. I'm assuming it's up to two times per turn per Steel Brella, but guess what? If, it's, if that's wrong, then... Oh, well. We'll just replace it. Check the store first. Once per turn, gain additional two shield the first time you gain shield. I mean, that would work, I guess. First binding you use each t every turn gets a cost discount. Oh. That's pretty good. At that point, we could kind of replace future Willer. Because, like, I I know we get one less will on the first turn, but it's just a... It's redundant at a certain point, right? Like, having a so much will on the first turn, you're, there's not going to be enemies left on turn one. Unless it's the boss. And even in this case, we're down one, one. So it's like, yeah. Big that ink bound of yours still trying to make things right, right? Stop the darkness, save the world, and all that ink and gas. Well... The day they do is the day I take off the mask and kiss your quill. Eh. Besides, saving the world's bad for business, and I, for one, don't think I'm the only soul wishing things to stay dark, get me? Well, be buying or be moving, needless. Better things for both of us to be doing. Alright, let's blow up the boss. Lusk, Lusk the Blight Bag. Aw, uh, you smart little cookie. Being so spread out. We want to stack up those, uh, the shurikens. Okay. So cleave, we could do like a big burst of damage and then they would take it again. I mean, that is nice. It's 
So, okay. No. It doesn't do... Gain a stack of bleed for each physical point of damage this unit takes. At the end of the turn, deal one for stack. So, yeah, it's kind of weird that it's at 163 then. Wait, really? Oh, you have 999 bleed? <laughs> oh, no, you had three. You had 3,000 bleed. So, if they have a little bit of bleed. If you so we want to inflict bleed first and then we can stack it up further that is gnarly well bosses just got easier uh if we re-roll can we maybe get something that's not zap inflicting shocked damage all enemies on the battlefield and inflict shocked i mean that's oh it's expensive though it, it buffs up the energy cost of two yeah Give me different abilities. Sweep. Uh, do 360 damage in a large area around you and inflict bleed. Uh, like, I, I am... I find that very appealing. Doing it in a big area around. Inflict bleed and then attack three times each for 94. The phrasing on that almost sounds like the place we put it is important, but I mean, we lack, like, we lack something that covers this type of area. So if this is good utility as well. I guess I'll take the crit chance, but yeah. Inflict an additional 50 stacks of bleed whenever you hit an enemy without any stacks. Gain one shuriken per turn? I'm not, I don't have that many turns. This is my last 150. I probably shouldn't do this, but... Passively reduce the will cost by one. Making... Okay, Relentless Barrage being free is great. For everything but, like, turn one. Uh, I'd have to drop something. We've ran out of things to talk about. That's okay. So we could replace something if we wanted, but I'm relatively happy with what I have, and I don't know how much of this currency I have. I'm not sure. Ooh. Wait, what the heck? Oh, fun. I didn't know there was cosmetic stuff like that. I'll put the helmet on. Sure. I'll... Nameplate? Emotes? Oh, that's fun. I think I'm going to skip this stuff. Like, the question is if I go for the chain lightning, but... I mean, I guess, you know what? Let's be real. I'm probably not using the chain lightning at this point. And then let's go to the radiant market. I wonder, is it a three three uh, zones and then done kind of a thing? Once vibrant market serving binders throughout the ages, now reduced rubble and ruin. The feats of the Athenium are plain to see, grand in design, but vain in construct. Let's go for this at this point. All right, bring him in. I don't think there's a way. Uh, so much of this character right now is just me trying to figure out how to line up the perfect AoE. And then often finding out that there isn't one for this situation. But there actually probably is. <laughs> okay, hold on. Come on, man. Oh, this is frustrating. Yeah, I think I'm just going to have to tap out on that. I don't know what you're doing, but it sure looks like it's just going to be a... Um, 
situation where you do that big AoE. Love it. All right, we have plenty of energy. Just don't, just don't mess. Okay. We have three. Oh God, our, our, okay, our damage is, you know, a reminder, our damage is terrible if we don't crit. That's a good wake up call. So whose move is that? I feel like it's yours, and the truth is I would probably kill you with the random AoE. Also, apparently we don't take damage. It says we're not going to be taking damage, because I guess we just have enough armor. Yeah, in this air, in this circle we don't take damage, in this one we would. So let's just do it. This should bounce and... Okay, good. No, I'm not... I'm not wasting it there. Oh my word. Okay, you have phased? Ah! Just get rid of that. Let's see what happens here. That should be... It had to think about that. It had to think about that indeed. Are we going to just, like... Yeah. Man, when we run into somebody who can actually deal with that hit, like, it's all over, man. Even more energy right away. Pick up an orb. Then stun the nearest enemy. You know, I don't think we need more will. And I like the idea that we get the four armor every turn. I think having those two is nice. For a reason that we kind of just saw right there. Go for physical power. Oh, we have enough money to re-roll if we want. Should I? It's a superior vault, so yeah. 20 crit, oh wait, 20 crit damage and a 30% chance to apply marked, which for guaranteed crit. Yes. Absolutely. Let's get rid of training weights at this point. I forgot I even had this. It's not that it's bad, it's just this is so much better. In, like, an obvious way. Gain a random potion. For 50, I'm gonna say nah. Yeah, give me, give me the toughest battle you have. I'll be the judge of that. I feel like I've become too OP for you. Probably good enough. I, I don't see anybody who has that stacking thing. Good. Maybe we crit. We do. Grab the power orb so we can get down. So how much health do you have? 1,500? Child's play. I think we did. How, how much did we just do? I have no clue. But yeah, turn one is just like absolute nothing. Wait. Oh, these aren't loot guys, are they? No, they just kind of look like it. When the countdown reaches zero, unleashes a concoction. Okay. Please. You have a weirder hitbox than it looks like, so I'm just going to say, screw you. wubba bubba 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 I love how it takes a little while. Like, that's that's the most beautiful thing. It's like, let me think about it. Okay, this the dash is free. We're in the poison, but it doesn't matter. We have enough shield for it to be fine. Oh, you jerk. And whoop. Crit damage up, probably. Probably just the way to go. Max HPs for squares. Sharp throw. Base damage up by 10. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. 
but I just in case we are near the end here. Overflowing study of the chronicler. I've not done this one, so I'm gonna give it a look. You needless, Lizbet me. You're curi looking for the weaver. Said she could smell the curiosity on you like a Vengewood rock. Guess I owe you an ink bath then, Liz. They've got weaver written all over their face. As for you, needless, you're parking up the right tree, as some might say. Your weaver is here in this very market. Or at least she should be. It's been a long time since we've spoken. Just head on to the end of this floor, end of this book, and you'll find her. Well, great. If you're hit by an attack, if you defeat an enemy with an attack more than double their max health, gain a moderate amount of quills. Moderate amount. All right, fine. I'll trash one of my one of my defenses for it. I've been liking it, but still. I'm going to go for a potion and just in case again it's like the final fight and I will drop a key because I'm not finding chests anymore. Oh boy. Let me go and see what's your deal. Oh no. You are a big fool. So I'm going to have to take that AoE. The hope... Here, let's see. How much damage is it? Okay, it's one. You do one damage. I do not care then. All right. Oh, shoot. fine should be able to kill you with this what do you do what what are you doing you summoner well whatever you're doing is not doing damage to me and i set up an extra free kill for next turn you're you're a summoner yeah 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 okay Uh, let's hit both of those guys away from here first. Yeah, should be pretty good. Get the bounce in. We have summons yet, so don't go for it fully. Unless... Nah. We, we, like, we like that you're going to summon things. I think that we may have a max of 10 shurikens. That or I'm like conveniently always seeing 10. Yeah, we can run this wild. All right, final one. So let's go for the big blast. Bye-bye. Uh, on next hit, inflict Hex and Shattered. I don't know what that means, but I will take it. Crit damage. 100% damage, you take 100% damage. Let's end in a bang. This will be the last one here. God, I hope that... The runs aren't... Okay. Four zones long. I feel like they... I feel like that's too long. Uh, if you win a combat... I, again, theoretically, this is a no-go. But we'll see in a second. If I... I'll re-roll. Could be fun. Is this the boss? This is the boss. What she got? At the start of every turn, it spawned additional orb. It's so good. Uh... But it's probably fine. 30% chance to gain Shadow Walk whenever you're hit for the rest of the turn. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. Again, let's just see some fun stuff as we uh, gain one max HP on kill. Let's just see the things here. Another study of Windsong is pretty cool. 
cooler than that if we're indeed donezo here. Cap the captor. Oh, you fool. Oh, you fool. Did I break you? Oh, I think that you have you have health caps so that I can't fully break you. Re oh, reduces incoming damage based off how many enemies are alive. Oh, you have to ruin the fun. Okay, well the good news is you screwed. Anyways. We can go for this and the boss is dead. Beautiful stuff. Consume all will, gain three shield for each will consumed. I mean, it's a good, like, last-ditch effort for that. I also haven't upgraded Ricochet, though. Have I? That's, it just says ricochet. Deadly dance. Uh, kind of crazy sweep. I don't know how many I'd roll for that, though, to just gain resistance. Take 50% less damage until the start of your next turn. I mean, truthfully, that'd be the best way to go. Gain precise. 100% crit damage per stack on your for your next crit. Oh, that's so good. Are runs really this long? I feel like three zones seems like the appropriate length. So you met the old chronicler. Did you notice anything unusual, needless? Aside from his boundless energy, of course, sometimes he even gives me a run for my quillings. His quill, needless, still bound. So bright, unlike anyone else you've met, I would guess. Probably makes those Athenaeum uh, reunions a bit tense, wouldn't you think? That whole unbinding business being the cause of this whole mess we're in now. More questions without answers, needless. Oh, okay, okay. Tele blink, teleport a medium distance away. I mean, that seems good. Just like a safety. Maybe even... Yeah, I think it's probably better than the shield. Right? Is it? Eh. Let's hit this, though. Back to the Sea of Ink. Okay. Alright. Last one. The big boy. That, that that feels accurate. Okay. 10% damage reduction per stack. Loses one stack at the end of each turn. Gotcha. Oh, I can hit the boss with this? Can I, though? Are the tentacles you, though? That's the question I have. Can I really not hit? I can't hit both? That seems like that's a hard scripted thing. Okay, well that died anyways. Oh no, I can hit them both. Are you locked there at that health? It's an important factor for me to know.
Okay, I seem to be at 10 shurikens, which I think is the max. Feels good. And then we'll step right there, and then we'll use the disintegration oil on the last stretch. So, gain attack. I guess I'll just pop your crit, get the kill on that. I'm assuming we want the tentacles gone, but I also don't, like, fully know how important that is. Did he take damage? It sure looks like... So, 10% damage reduction per stack. Do you have the damage reduction of the tentacles? Because if so, I feel like it should have the combined total of how many there are. That would make that more clear, if that is the case. I don't know if it is, though. We pop this without going for the crit. I mean, theori theoretically, I'm not in any danger right now. So let's just maybe mark you for next turn. And I'll even... I'll do that. Uh, okay, we're actually... We are fine-ish. Believe it or not. Oh, that's so cool. It should be maybe even done now. So his thing, it slowly is moving over. Oh, that's so cool. So now we dash over here. Do you start at the beginning again? No, you go back over here. Well, you got your crit on you. Get ready, baby. Bye-bye. That's such a cool fight. I'm just so broken for it. So it's hard to really, you know. New quests available. Win runs. I mean, hell yeah! You defeated Orgoloth, Terror of the Inky Depths. Okay, okay, yeah. Three zones into the final boss, I do like. I do like that. That feels right. Because you, like, you know, the more you play, the more you cut that down. Some runs would be uh, longer than this one, though, for sure, since this was such a big burst kill build. Man. <laughs> I love this game, though. This is so good. I can't wait to see, like, some of the other wild builds, other, like, some of the other ideas. There were multiple classes, like, there's the three classes in right now. There's two that are locked for the demo that theoretically will be out whenever it comes out for early access or anything. Uh, but yeah, alas, alas, that is that, and that is going to do it here for today. If you want more of this, let me know in the form of a comment down below. Check out the channel for Roguelikes more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye!